Good day ladies and gentlemen. Today we will review the uh, H2OS for OnePlus One. Um, <coughs> um, OnePlus One developed this, this operating system for itself obviously um, and uh, uh, you know it's, it's, just, it's just brilliant in my opinion so let's just get quickly get into it. There's a, there's a, there's a minor surprise towards the uh, uh, it could be in the middle, could be in the end, but doesn't you know? Let, let's let's see how the um, how the review goes. But let's just get uh, get started. Um, lock screen. Okay. Uh, before you go, uh, the version two uh, H two uh, version two did not have this H uh, two version four does have it. It's the uh, double tap to wake and double tap to sleep. Um, double tap to wake obviously is on the, the home screen, um, the lock screen. However, the um, um, the, the double tap to wake, uh, so the, the, sorry, the double tap to screen, sleep is basically only on the uh, on the home screen. Unlike material design, where you can double tap on the uh, on the status bar and it goes to sleep, so that doesn't happen on the stock version of uh, the H2. Uh, so let's get into it. So this is it. So this is the layout of the H2. Um, must must add my you know two cents right here. Just love it. You know love the uh, you know the how fluid the operating system feels on the hand. Uh, you know um, everything is is smooth. Everything talks to everything else. Pretty much, you know. It looks like a very good, um, uh, you know, very fluid operating system, and I and I and I personally love it. Um, okay, so let's just get into the uh, get the 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 settings page out of the way. So yeah, so um, to bottom to top, drag up, you get the iOS style uh, quick setting bar, um, and then you have a few of the uh, you know. Uh, apps up there and then the settings down here so we get into the settings panel um, normal 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 nothing major nothing major um, just quickly getting into um, the about phone looking at the um, just getting the customer out of the way um, h2os 5.0.2 um, and the kernel uh, build was the 19th uh, 19th of june 2015 so once that is out of the way, you get system updates OTA. So that's good. Uh, as I said, nothing major happening here. None, 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 except in the advanced settings. Um, nothing major again. You know, fairly lukewarm, fairly uh, vanilla lollipop. Um, however, getting into accessibility, screen, uh, sleep screen gesture. This is the only thing that I think they've brought down from. Um, lollipop the rest of the stuff is fairly self-explanatory um, nothing major is happening there um, double tap to wake that's something that I just um, you know so you uh, double tap to wake from the home screen draw O to open the camera and uh, draw a V uh, for the flashlight and you can also do music controls but I tend I, I tend not to um, you know check them so um, so those as I said, nothing major happening on the setting screen right here. Um, one, so I, I'll just I will go through the few things that I really love about uh, H2 and the few additional things that I've uh, I've added um, in order to make it the way I want it. Okay, so uh, what I love about H2 is how, is how fluid it is. Uh, I love the whole. Uh, you know, H2, uh, iOS style, uh, because it's different, maybe because it's different than the normal uh, material design lollipop um, notification panel and the quick settings, it, maybe just that, or, or I really love the iOS pull up sort of thing. I don't know, but I, I know I'm digging this. Double tap, you get the notification <coughs> draw. Um, um, yeah, so a few things that I love, these things. Um, um changing the wallpaper is it's fairly is actually very good i mean it's something that i i um, uh, you know uh, I, i'm actually digging these days uh, after i've uh, you know rooted this sorry flashed this look at that so i've changed this uh, you know and you, number one you can pick any image um if you know, you're going with the stock images so you just pick any image and accordingly it basically 
gives you options of uh you know um you know of changing the background color and it sort of inbuilt you know uh, it it uh, it sort of transitions these colors into the entire operating system for example now if i've chosen this red and red so the red is pretty much you know um persistent all across so it is fairly consistent um from an operating system perspective so i really really love it one thing you'll um one thing you might uh you know uh, realize is um my screen my i've i've changed the uh, i've changed the dpi from 480 which is default one plus one to 380 so i i like my screen my real estate condensed I, I need i want to utilize my real estate to its maximum um therefore uh, in a normal 480 dpi you will have three you know, um, you have three uh, icons on each row, and there are three rows on each on on the home screen, and one, two, three, four, five rows. So, um, tops, you would probably be uh, getting about 15 apps or icons on each screen, as opposed to my current uh, 25. So, um, you know, I just decreased the DPI. Uh, it obviously, it doesn't. The, you can't really decrease the DPI uh, from the normal settings. Uh, you know, the, since the phone is rooted, I use the uh, you know the Room ROM Toolbox Pro. Um, in that, uh, if I remember, uh, I think no, no, it's uh, yeah, I think it's it's the build prop editor. In that, you come here LCD density. Uh, I've turned it to 380. So that's what's happening here. Uh, one thing important. One thing. <coughs> One major thing that I wanted to say uh, at the onset of um, of this review was exposed framework works on this. So I have exposed on this and I have a whole heap of, of a bunch of stuff that I'm doing, um, a bunch of tweaks that I have uh, on this. Um, for example, double tap on the status bar to sleep. Wake up again, uh, go back up, double tap, double tap status bar, sleep, brilliant. Uh, you know, I can actually also, uh, you know, slide right, sleeps. Um, you know, slide left, sleeps. Basically, I tend to use the phone mostly, uh, you know, in, in the car. Uh, so, uh, you know, I need quick, quick settings to basically turn the, the screen on and off, you know, you know, save battery and whatnot. So, uh, I really love these. So, all of this only because of um, Exposed. So, get in there, Exposed installer. So, yes, I have the framework. Uh, as you can see, uh, it says Exposed bridge.jar. Bridge I've done that. Come here, uh, modules. I have these modules. Uh, play around with the font. Xblast is where I, you know, did the whole. I used to do the um, uh, uh, the status bar tweaks here and there. So um, gestures, and here it is. Enable gestures. Uh, double tap, long press, um, right swipe, left swipe. So things like that. So you can do a whole heap of stuff. Uh, one more thing, a few additional things that I've added and made my life a lot easier on the OnePlus, especially the H2, is uh, is the you know the app circle bar. There you go. You have the app circle bar. You have a whole lot of uh, settings that you can a whole lot of app source settings that you can get into. So that's there. App circle bar is one, and the um, you know. Uh, and my you know app bar the normal app bar so those two things that i really have handy that i can use to get things going uh one other thing just you know an additional sort of um chrome uh tweak uh should come up but doesn't for some reason flash that thing comes okay so that doesn't come all right um there you go oh there it was uh, there you go so the uh, the Chrome Pie, so the Chrome Pie for uh, um, for Chrome, right? Brilliant. I mean, I love it. I mean, I don't do since the, the the screen is large. You know, I don't have to put my move my fingers back and forth. Um, you know, to get into settings or you know create a new tab or go incognito, uh, I can just do it right there. So just something that i wanted to highlight but the rest of the stuff pretty clean pretty awesome if there's anything that you want me to get into like you know more, more modules on exposed or uh, any other opera any other you know rom customized rom i've pretty much 
I have exhausted all the ROMs. Um, as you can see, I'll just quickly go into, um, uh, where is my, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, <coughs> go into my, um, uh, my download, take, remove the view. Um, I like small details and I like modify, sorry, I like, there you go. Sort it by date. As you can see, and I'm, I'm gonna you know, show them to you, I have pretty much um, MIUI, uh, uh, Paranoid Android, those are the gaps, but there was a, there's a broken, a broken OS, um, custom, custom ROM, CM 12.1, uh, Resurrection Remix, <coughs> Slim was there, tried a few versions of Radioactive Kernel, that didn't work. Franco Kernel, Bliss Pop, Slim Bacon, Pac Man Bacon, um, Resurrection. This is Dirty User, Dirty Unicorn, I think. Bacon. Um, I mean, I have, um, I have flashed pretty much every ROM, and then there was this TEM, RSK, I think, then Exodus and Euphoria, and. Um, you know, a whole heap of ROM, Mardi ROM, I think Mardi and Euphoria and Mardi are the same. Um, nonetheless, the point that I'm trying to make is I've done, I've, um, I've flashed more every, mostly every RAM that's out there, ROM that's out there, and basically bottom line come down to H2, uh, the, um, the bastard child of H2 uh, slash lollipop and with the, um, uh, with the additional, tweaks of exposed framework so that pretty much does it for me uh, i hope you like the um, the review uh, i'll try and make it a little more uh, a little bit um, shorter going forward um, please bear with me this time around um, if you'd like me to talk about something else would love to do that give you my opinion on it doesn't matter that it matters a lot but you know hey you know to um, two voices are better than one, I guess, especially if it's, it's, if, if it's there in your head, uh, yours, and, you know, and maybe mine if I'm talking to you. So let me know any topic, which should be any topic, you know, technology related, yes, absolutely. Um, should be able to uh, put, them, uh, put my thoughts in front of you on the screen uh, for you. Um, alrighty then, you have a great day, and uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Cheers, bye.